Now it's the time to help our government understand the benefits of, the, of, of digital assets, understand the benefits of crypto and the opportunity for, for us to uh, expand our economy. Hey folks, Flo here with Blockchain North. Final day of the CBC's Alberta trade mission. I'm here with Lucas Matheson of Coinbase, who has been a, a big participant this week, I would say. I've talked several times and of course a big advocate. Uh, we've also just launched Stand with Crypto. If you haven't signed up, check it out. It's all over online and on social media. Lucas, um, why are you here? Why was it important for you to dedicate quite a lot of time actually to this mission here in Alberta? Yeah, it's been an incredible week. We've had a, a trade mission here in Alberta with the minist various ministries of, of the Alberta government. We've spent time with Premier Smith, with Minister Glubish, with Minister uh, Nally, uh, around, who's a minister of red tape reduction. And we spent a week with industry and government really trying to understand what is the opportunity in Alberta? How can Alberta government help us be more successful here with, with respect to energy and, and digital assets? And just given us an incredible opportunity, frankly, to, to meet with government and, and better understand the opportunity to, to grow our business and, and our industry. And today we launched Stand With Crypto and Stand With Crypto is a, is a global advocacy group to bring people together, to unite voices around crypto, people who stand with crypto, who own crypto, who believe in the future of digital assets in the economy. If you, as Flo mentioned, I'd really encourage you to, to look into Stand With Crypto, uh, ca.standwithcrypto.org, sign up, share with your friends if you're passionate about th this industry. Um, this is really where we're at right now. Members of our government, it's so important that they hear from you. It's so important that they hear your voice and how important this industry is. Uh, our government works for you, works for us and, and your constituents. So it's, a, it's been an incredible effort around the world. In the U.S., we've had over a million people sign up with Stand With Crypto. We've just recently launched in the U.K. and excited that Canada is the third market that we'll be launching in. Very cool. I'm glad you had those URLs and those uh, social media handles that I didn't know by heart. Uh, but stand by crypto, you'll stand with crypto. Sorry, you'll find it quite easily. Is it fair to say, by the way, that Alberta is kind of leaps and bounds ahead of the rest of the country in terms of government engagement? Because I've never seen a premier spend two hours. It's been repeated several times uh, with the crypto community here, not just speaking, but also listening and, and engaging and really dedicating them uh, herself. Um, several cabinet ministers, ADMs, regulators, does that happen anywhere else in Canada? I'm not sure, but I, I can say I, I'm just incredibly impressed with the, the government in Alberta. They've been incredibly generous with their time with us over the last week. Every day we've had senior leaders of the government spend time with us, be on panels and, and working groups, uh, lunches and dinners, talking about our industry, talking about our challenges and really figuring out how we can build a successful ecosystem here in Canada. Um, and and that collaboration is really what makes Canada unique and special is the ability for our government and our industry to come together to really work through these issues. As an industry, we're very grateful for our government's collaboration, our regulators' collaboration, and the opportunity for us to impact uh, the, the understanding of our senior leaders around the industry. So I've come across you a few times recently, Collision, Ottawa, uh, and now here in Calgary. And I, I think I know um, uh, your messaging pretty well, but I'd love you to share this with our audience, in particular, how you see Canada being in a bit of a unique position in the crypto revolution. So what's the opportunity specifically for Canada? And what steps then do you think we need to take here in Canada, whether it be government, industry, regulators, to really seize that opportunity? I think we have an incredible opportunity in Canada to bring financial innovation uh, into this market. And there's a few reasons reasons for that. One is we have six banks that have, you know, 93% of our banking market in Canada. We have uh, one of the most centralized economies in the world, which has had some advantages historically around leverage and risk and mitigating some, some of the risks in market. But generally, I'd say, you know, our traditional system, what we think of as the old system that we grew up using, was sort of compartmentalized, right, to manage risk, to, to manage different types of risk. And a good example of that is if you swipe your credit card at a store, there's about 10 intermediaries that each manage a different function of the financial system, and each of those intermediaries is taking a profit. And that's because our financial system and the way that we've organized participants in that system is to each take a different part of the risk stack. And, and that's because in finance, there's a lot of conflicts of interest. And what's interesting about blockchain and, and the industry that we're in is that the technology in, in itself inherently solves a lot of the limitations and challenges of this traditional financial system that we have around instantaneous settlement around transparency, around permissionless 
uh, activity. And so I think we're, we're at a really interesting transition into what we think of as an updated system. Uh, obviously, the mission of Coinbase is to update the financial system and bring economic freedom into the world. And that's really what I think the opportunity is for us in Canada is to help Canadians get access to uh, digital services, financial services that empower them and their families to save for the long term and to uh, own assets that are, are building the new future of, of technology and, and financial technology. The topic of freedom is very apropos in, uh, in, in Alberta. It's often, uh, often mentioned. But the, the, this economic or financial freedom you're speaking about right now, what stands in the way of Canada actually achieving it? There's a few things in Canada that, that we're looking for right now. One is political leadership. And we're seeing that in Alberta this week, it's been incredible as, as we've been, been discussing, hearing um, from these ministers about their, their, their interest in our industry and their, and their support for our industry. And I think we're, we're keen to, um, to educate our political leaders, our federal political leaders about the opportunity for crypto in Canada. And that's really what Stand With Crypto is about. It's really about helping you as a Canadian bring your voice to your member of parliament so that they can understand that crypto is important to you because our members of parliament, you know, they prioritize their issues based upon the needs of their constituents and what our industry uh, has done really well over the last year and a half is align with our industry partners. We're here with the blockchain consortium and industry participants from all over the country and the world. But what's important is that our members uh, of parliament and our political leaders hear from you and, and our public. And that's really the stage that we're at in Canada is bringing more awareness and education to demystify the asset class and just help educate Canadians about the opportunity to, to innovate and update our financial system. You obviously rehearsed that speech a number of times, at least by doing it over the last weeks and, uh, and months. Well, I mean, you've kind of answered some of my questions already. I mean, maybe the, the registered dealer announcement, uh, I think three or four months ago by the uh, CSA, um, what does this milestone represent for, for Coinbase in Canada? And, and are there comparative jurisdictions other than the US where, where Coinbase has achieved that? Two types of regulation in the world. Coinbase operates all over the world. We work with regulators and jurisdictions all over the world to drive regulatory clarity in markets. And we're very thankful in Canada to have regulators who have stepped in early in the industry years ago and provided consumer protection for Canadians and really started understanding how to think about the technology, how to think about the risks, how to think about the opportunity to introduce these assets to Canadians in a safe way. And in Canada, Coinbase Canada as a company has been registered as a restricted dealer under the CSA, which is an incredible milestone. We're now the first international exchange to be registered in Canada. We're the largest crypto exchange in the country. But what this has done for us is a, a few things. It's, a, it's allowed us to continue our path of regulation in Canada and pursue our full, full dealer registration with zero. But it's also put us, it put us in a really great position where now we can build trust. And that's really obviously critical for our industry right now is building trust with government, building trust with industry, and building trust with the public. And being registered is an incredible uh, in, in, incredibly important ingredient in building trust in Canada is helping Canadians understand that Crypto trading platforms are registered, we're supervised. This industry is making significant progresses in Canada with our government. Um, and now it's the time for us to engage more with Canadians and, and help Canadians understand really the opportunity. You're really in a leadership position and you've actually risen to that position in a relatively short amount of time. I mean, of course, Kalea has been championing the industry as a whole, but we see you kind of as a flag bearer, I think, for the industry, an ambassador as well. Coinbase, of course, is uh, not only listed, regulated in the U.S., the biggest or, or one of the biggest exchanges in the world, connected as well with traditional finance. I mean, you service a lot of TradFi companies, you, you know, super connected in, in Canada as you are elsewhere. So you have a kind of a unique vision of the entire ecosystem and perhaps also of what's to come. If you were to, um, let's say, I guess, anticipate what the next two or three milestones are for Canada on this journey to acceptance, trust, uh, and freedom for, for Canadians, what would those two or three steps be in your view and over what duration? Yeah, I think there's a few ingredients when we think about the technology and the digital economy. There's a few things that I think in Canada will be will be helpful for us to introduce in, 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 to Canadians. One is stable coins. Stable coins are a really important um, part of the digital ecosystem. They're not only a trading pair, but they're a, you know, a store of value and a way for people to move digital assets very easily. I'm, I'm hopeful in Canada that we will have a stable coin and introduce a stable coin in market, and that will provide a couple new use cases for Canadians. Foreign currency exchange is one of them, helping more Canadians save money with foreign currency 
exchange businesses that are, are working with U.S. partners. I think it'll help with remittance that we are, you know, we have one in five Canadians are remitting money around the world. And having a stable coin will help Canadians who are remitting uh, money to friends and family do that more efficiently and, and save money on fees. I think Canadians pay between 6 and 12% to send money to friends and family. So there's a number of use cases around stable coins that I think will be incredibly important. But I think more broadly, I think the opportunity for Canada is to have more engagement in our industry from, from the community. And that's really what Stand With Crypto is, is about. And, and what I'm really excited about in the next chapter for Canada is getting more Canadians a, a voice to help our government prioritize uh, crypto because around the world, geographies are moving aggressively to introduce digital assets into their economy and Canada is no different. We need to be innovative. We need to think forward about uh, the technology that we have in Canada and financial technology is incredibly important. We've seen this in other industries. It's a case of this industry will grow with or without Canada. So either we, you know, get on the train or it passes us by, basically. Yeah. Final question, I want to sort of put you on the spot. I mean, the elephant in the room here is the federal government. We've praised the Alberta government. We've talked about, you know, different jurisdictions. But really, I think what the industry really wants is federal support, like like verbalization even. You don't really hear that so much. So short of criticizing the government, because I don't think we'll ha that'll help. If you were right now speaking to, let's say, the prime minister or the federal government, how would you distill your message in sort of 30 seconds? What, what, what would you say to Justin Trudeau or to any future governments um, that we need to do? I think it's just really education around the opportunity for Canada to integrate blockchain technology into our economy and for us to gain the efficiencies that we're seeing around the world with other geographies that are, are moving ahead with regulation, moving ahead with legislation, moving ahead with use cases within their economies to leverage blockchain technology and digital assets. And so for me, I'm just really excited to help our government better understand the opportunity. I think we've done a good job in Canada understanding the risks. I think we've done a good job understanding the regulations and getting crypto trading platforms regulated. Now it's the time to help our government understand the benefits of, the, of, of digital assets, understand the benefits of crypto and the opportunity for, for us to uh, expand our economy. And like you said, um, compete with the rest of the world who is who is moving uh, uh, you know aggressively to to update their financial systems as well fantastic any did you anything you wanted to add any questions i haven't asked you no no any That's reflections great. on this week maybe just to finish off like what what do you leave with this week has been incredible i've been very very surprised at how supportive the alberta government has been on, with our industry we've had so many members of various cabinets supporting this week in, in alberta and just really showing us their genuine sincere interest in supporting the the evolution of the digital economy in Alberta and innovating it's it's been you know one takeaway for me is minister nally in Alberta for those of you who are in Alberta uh, there's a minister here named minister nally and his his job title is the minister of red tape reduction his job is to eliminate re 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 regulation in Alberta and he was telling us on Tuesday that he's eliminated 200 of 600,000 regulations that they've had in the province of Alberta. And he is continuously working to drive innovation in the province. And I think that's been really impressive to see a government understanding that regulation can impede innovation in an economy. And at the same time, we have members of uh, the superintendent of, of the banking institution here. We have members of our regulators here who are also obviously keen to ensure that we're doing this in a safe uh, safe way, protecting consumers, making sure consumers are informed. But the opportunity is just so significant. It's great to see a government understand that opportunity, appreciate that opportunity, and support the industry with moments like Stand With Crypto. We have many members of the of the government here today to, to, to celebrate Stand With Crypto and launch it with us. And we're very grateful for, for that commitment. Thank you very much, sir. It's been a pleasure. And thank you for everything you do. Yeah, thank you so much. Stand With Crypto, that's what you got to sign up for. We'll put the link in the description. And uh, yeah, we hope to uh, see you soon. Take care.